Uh -huh. Can you talk about your reaction tonight to saying goodbye to Cat? I was bummed for Cat and Austin. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not bummed for any of them. But Cat in particular, just because there's not a lot of women on the show, there's not a lot of like. I mean, I love Shirley Manson of Garbage. I've said this probably to you guys last week. She reminds me of that, just alpha female rocker that's like missing in the rock scene today and I would have loved for her to make it further to combat some of the soulful rock that we have and some of the other contestants but um, it didn't happen Austin Jenks is great too I mean listen the show has great talent what about next week I mean, what are we going to be saying next week who's going home next week what are we going to be like oh so, you know we're going to be like holy shit like <laughs> so and so went home like they could have won any of these other shows it just that's the level of talent that we have. But um, the good the good news is uh, a lot of these people are getting signed and, you know, we're trying to, like, prop everybody up and, and help them. So. But I was bummed for Kat. Well, as a producer and a host of the show, what what kind of, like, discussions were going on about how to kind of introduce Adam Levine as the sexiest man alive for that cover? Was there a lot of, like, funny ideas? That wasn't me. Uh, that happened an hour before the show. Uh, a producer came up to me and said, I haven't told anybody this except our director and a few people, but we have the first cover. Um, there's been tons of speculation. People right. probably know, but it hasn't been confirmed. Yeah. And let's do that tonight. Um, we have sort of People Magazine's blessing to do that. And they gave me the cover and they said, what do you want to do? And I said, well, maybe just the top of the second act before I talk to the coaches, I'll just, you know, we'll just whip it on them and have some fun <laughs> over it. And that's what we did. And it seemed fun. And, uh, you know, it was fun to watch him squirm a little bit. <laughs> what now do you think he can get away with now holding that honor? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Blake's won this fucker three times in a row now. This guy, uh, sexiest man alive. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, we need trailers for these guys' heads. Uh, no. I don't know. Ask him. Would he, if, if he could have had this honor, you know, five years ago when he wasn't engaged, it might have been a better, uh, a better card to play, right? Any of us would have appreciated that when you're single, but... You know, oh, God, you get it when you're married. You're like, thanks a lot. We're <laughs> <laughs> engaged. Long overdue, though. Sorry, Hugh Jackman. <laughs>